She has a country, southern gospel, bluegrass gospel artist joining us. She's played acoustic guitar since the age of eight and mandolin since the age of six. She says her dad and I had a gospel music ministry when she was very young at the age of three and spent most of her childhood and into the teen years singing and playing guitar and mandolin at various local churches and gospel radio shows. Now in her 30s, after having served for many years in music ministry strictly at her local church, God has suddenly seen fit for her to hit the road and fulfill her dream of having a career in Christian music. She recently released her first ever album titled A Time Like This, which includes a couple originals, including the title track, as well as covers of some of her favorites in Christian music. She has completed songs and has nine left in the finish. Her solo ministry has evolved into a duet with her friend, vocalist guitarist Stephen Coons, and they are known as Southern Sunday, collectively. They've been blessed with over 30 bookings since April and plan to release their first CD collectively in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Red Room stage, Brandy York to the show. Brandy, good evening to you. Welcome to the Red Room. How are you this evening? I am doing really well. Um, I have all kinds of hats, no pun intended. Um, I'm also a beekeeper, so I just spent all day long in the bee yard, <laughs> the apiary. We gathered about 100 pounds of honey, and now here wow. I am wow. to sing about Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. So how many, how many, how many, I'm not sure you even know, how many bees does it take collectively to produce that amount of honey? Well, um, I mean, they've been working on it for several months. Um, there's about 40,000 bees to one hive, and we have nine oh, hives. Why? Yeah, I made N a nine? lot of little lady today. 40,000 to, geez, you have between three and 400,000 bees. Wow. That's a lot, that, yeah. That yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, Nicely done there. Multi-talented. You certainly do wear many hats. And uh, like you said, here you are from beekeeping to uh, Jesus music playing. Here you are tonight. Uh, yes. And, and like the vineyard chicks, you started from a young age as well. Um, and here you are. What was that moment for you when you realized now it's time to do this? Now it's time to pursue this as a, as a gifting and a calling was there was there a particular moment for you that changed things you know honestly it always kind of just felt like routine like this is what I do growing up because from age three you know my dad had me out singing and playing everywhere and then as I got older you know and see that that you know this is a God thing this is a ministry you know, that at the same time, I'm like, well, this is what I do at church. I've never really had a lot of confidence in myself, to be honest, um, which, you know, the, the first song I'm going to do tonight kind of talks about that. And um, I just kind of stayed in my comfort zone until back in December, this past December. I would rarely, I might have had two videos on, on the Internet of me singing a song. I never like to put myself out there. And then I went through some really hard times. God moved me from my church. And basically, I'm out here on my own. And I said, if I never sing or play another song again, let your will be done. Do what you want with me. But I'm going to need some courage. And so I have went from not even being on social media for eight months to now here I am. I have all the things, all the social stuff. And I'm coming out of my shell. I've always wanted to write songs, and now I've written 12 songs that I've finished since March. So he's just really just, I said, do what you want with me, and that's what he did. <laughs> he yeah. set me down the road. And, and here I, you are. He, that is amazing. Yeah. Brandy York with us here on Resident. Let's get into that first song, shall we? What's the first tune you have for us? All right, so the first one's called Talking to Myself. I did write this back in February, March, when I was going through a, a difficult time spiritually, and I couldn't help but think of what would I be saying to you as a Christian, as a sister in Christ, what would I be saying to you if you were going through a hard time? It's so easy to be encouraging to others, but not to ourselves. So that's what this song talks about, Talking to Myself. I 
Randy York with us on this only edition of Red's Room. What is up next for you? We're going to be doing more songwriting, more releasing both individually, as we mentioned, and as a collective uh, duo there, a little bit of all of it. Tell us what's up in the next couple of months for you. A little bit of all of it. Um, I'm always writing songs. I started a song while making a bunch of bees mad today. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm always <laughs> writing songs. I have lots of pieces of songs. Um, I My other hat, I'm a nurse in the ICU at my local hospital, and I write songs at work. I'm always writing songs, so that's going to continue as long as God continues to pour that into my mind and my heart. Um, but as I said, I function more so as a duo now. Um, I would have had Stephen Coons with me tonight as Southern Sunday, but he is actually at Singing in the Smokies. So I um, hope he's having a good time there. I'm having a good time here. Right. So that is the plan. We are going to continue to evolve into our collective ministry, um, write songs. Um, we will travel anywhere because we know that God will provide so we're gonna we're gonna do this project that's coming up at the end of August. Continue to write and just see where God takes us. If we stay in the small church in the holler and lead worship with twenty people, that's fantastic. If that's His plan, if His plan is to put us in the circle on the Opry, that's awesome. Whatever His plan is. Awesome stuff there, uh, Daniel. Uh, we do ask this question from time to time of our artists, and it came up again here. He says, great song, love that song, a group on country gospel. What guitar are you playing by chance, he wants to know. This is a Martin. So I have this Martin. It's awesome. It has an onboard tuner. It's great. Um, I was actually tuning my guitar once at an event, and someone thought that I was watching my strings to see if they were tight enough. And I was like, no, no, I'm looking at my tuner inside my guitar. So that's probably my favorite thing about <laughs> it. It has a, a warmer tone. Um, I also have a Taylor. It's black. She's beautiful. Um, I also have, I have a little Martin, little Marty. And um, he's just a fun guitar, fun little guitar to pack around. But I mostly play the Martin, especially doing country bluegrass type stuff. If I'm doing some contemporary, um, the 
I prefer the Taylor. As far as strings, this thing I use Martin and Diodario on the Taylor. Awesome stuff there. Yeah, Daniel says, yeah, I thought it was a Martin. I play a Taylor 810 CE. Yeah, nice. it is. Yes. There you go. Second song, what do you have for us there, Brandy? I have a time like this. And as we had mentioned, that is the title track to my debut album. I uh, wrote that song also when I was going through a hard time. I guess you could just call it my, um, I don't know, if I were Taylor Swift, it would be a breakup album. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my comeback album. Um, it's hey. like you know, Esther 414 says it all. And, um, you know, no matter what you're going through, listen to God, open up, listen to the Holy Spirit talk to you and know that you were made for a time like this because there is something, there's somebody out there that will be impacted by what he's called you to do. And you've got something to get out there and minister. It's not always music. It could be working in your food pantry, whatever it may be, cleaning your church. We need to clean church, right? So whatever it is, you were created for a time such as this. And that's what this song is about. And this was also released on July 2nd to streaming, so you can find that single wherever you like to listen to streaming. We're in New York here with us on this all new edition of Red Room. Now, where do you draw a lot of your current inspirations for a lot of your tunes? The brandy is from scripture, life experiences, a little bit of all of it. Where do you draw some of your uh, influences from? Definitely life experiences and testimonies. As I said, these songs just started pouring out whenever I was going through a difficult time spiritually and really had to gain some confidence in myself and be like, if this is what you want me to do, Lord, then here I am. And that's kind of what these songs are about. Um, so it also every song I write has at least one scripture reference. And if it's only one, it's a whole chapter. <laughs> so every song has uh, scripture references to it.
Check it in on the Facebook. Uh, Kim, uh, Brandy York, Kim, that's who's joining us right now. Wanda Fraley says, you go, girl. Linda Bowl says, Brandy is wonderful. Thanks for sharing. Um, also, uh, Kim Romero says, uh, love her already. Great songs. Uh, great to have everyone tuning in to us tonight here on Red's Room. Song number three. Brandy, what do you have for us? This is another original called End of My Road. So this song is not about me and what I've been through. It's actually what my neighbor went through <laughs> at the end of my road. Um, back in April, it was about mid-April, we had a tornado here. It ended up being an F1, F2, which if you live out in the plains and wherever, you're probably like, ah, oh, that's, that's little. But that's the first tornado that I'm aware of that has touched the ground in this part of Boyd County in probably 50 years. And so I was at work, my, my kid and my husband were here at home and um, we had a tornado to touch down just down the road and it came up the about two streets behind my house. So my house was spared. A lot of houses were not. There was a whole lot of damage. And one of those was a lady who lived in a trailer at the end of my road. She was apparently in the kitchen at the time. The tornado picked up her trailer and tossed it like a toy and landed on its top. And you could see the parking lot where it dropped the trailer from my kitchen window. And it stayed there for a few days. Um, praise the Lord, she just came out with a few bruises. She was... She was fine, uh, just shaken up, obviously. And in a news interview, she said, I have my Jesus and I have my life. And that was just, that was amazing to see what all had happened. And, and there were no serious injuries from anyone around here. And so um, I'm vacuuming. Usually it's when I'm doing something that doesn't require a whole lot of thought. I start humming tunes and putting words together. So I was vacuuming. I look out my window and I see that trailer on its top. And I thought, if there's somebody who needs to know if there's really a God, I see him at the end of my road right there because that's Jesus. So I wrote this song kind of about her experience. And it's called End of My Road.
unbelievable part there, the little, uh, what a friend we have in Jesus, uh, little part at the end there as well. Wanda Fraley says, first time tuning in, now I'm a fan, great stuff, um, and, and yeah, Daniel Curtis there on, on Facebook, what a friend we have in Jesus, amen to that. If you're enjoying tonight's broadcast, be sure to let us know where you're watching and where you're tuning in from here on this Saturday night. Brandy York is with us here in this all-new edition of Red Room on this Saturday. Uh, growing up, who have been some of your musical influences uh, that have helped shape either your your ministry, your musical sound, or who would you say have been some of your favorites? Well, my dad is my ultimate favorite. Um, if not for him, then I probably wouldn't be sitting here doing what I'm doing right now. Um, he, of course, taught me to play guitar at a young age and took me here, there, and everywhere. Even when I hit those tween and teen years and was like, Dad, I don't really want to go tonight. And he's like, but but you have a purpose. Let's go. Um, next, of course, would be Loretta Lynn. I live along the country music highway, Highway 23. There is a whole slew sure. of great country artists, um, whatever artists. I mean, there's, yeah, I can't even start to name them. Um, right here in my county, we have the Judds. Um, Greenup County oh, right yeah. next door, we've got Billy Ray Cyrus. We've got, I can't, Ricky Skaggs, you just keep going down the list. Chris you're you're holding them all out there, yeah. County, two counties away. So um, Loretta Lynn, always loved Loretta Lynn from when I was old enough to listen to her music. Watch the movie Coal Miner's Daughter. I was gonna be her, so um, obviously I'm not her, but she still continues to be an influence to me. Even now that she's went on to heaven, she continues to be an influence to me. Um, also, Patty Loveless from the Country Music Highway. Listened to a lot of her growing up, right. and yeah. um, one more lady who is well. I mean. When I was growing up, she was still just a thought as Ann Wilson. <laughs> so um, she's amazing. Her music has, yep. it's rather new compared to Loretta Lynn and Patty Loveless, but she has inspired me that, hey, this Christian country stuff, this is, this is where it's at. And so also Ellie Holcomb too. But I got to meet Ann Wilson a mm -hmm. few nights ago yeah. here in Ashland and it was it was awesome. Uh, there's pictures all over my, my Facebook page about that, and she is just a sweetheart. Roots down in Kentucky, girl, just like her song says. So she she may be young enough to be my daughter, but she is an influence to me too. And her family is great, so I'm just thankful for that experience. But yeah, those are my those are my big influences. I also love Zach Williams. He's he's great. Elevation worship. Lots of good influences there. Yes, I'm uh, in Kentucky. That's kind of the home for gospel bluegrass. So yeah, that's where you find a lot of them right up there. A lot of good names came from up there, including our guest right here tonight, Brandy York, joining us with her great style of music here tonight on this program. Fourth song, what do you have to share for us tonight, Brandy? Well, I thought I'd throw one in that most people probably know, but it never gets old. It's called Goodness of God. Um, you know, with every breath, that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. And, you know, that, that part is really special to me because in 2017, I survived a bilateral pulmonary embolism. So I had a blood clot go from my leg to my lungs and I couldn't breathe and it could have killed me, but it didn't because he had bigger plans for me. And I even continued to sing, not knowing that this had happened. And I was so short of breath, but now I'm not, obviously, <laughs> thank the Lord above, um, and he healed me from that. He protected me, and um, his goodness, I mean, you can just never get enough of this song because you can never get enough of his goodness, so let's all sing Goodness of God.
Man. Bud knows what I'm talking about over there. This song seems to follow uh, this community. I was on here hosting last week, and that song resonated and served as our end song for the entire night last weekend uh, when we were on here. And it's only fitting that the uh, classic goodness of God shows up one more time. I hope and I pray that um, anyone who needs to be reminded of his goodness of God, no matter what situation, no matter what circumstance we face, no matter what the enemy tries to throw in our direction, that he is good and he is sovereign no matter what life may throw. And uh, that song is an awesome, fantastic reminder of that. Checking in on the Facebook, actually. Um, we had a great reminder of that, actually, on uh, on the socials here, um, where we had one of our commenters says they know all about that goodness uh, because uh, Wanda Fraley says, he brought me through cancer in 2021. I know all about that goodness. Uh, yes, and Wanda says, Brandy, you're doing a great job. So proud of you. Um, John Curtis says, from Psalm 23, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Amen to that. Brandy, what uh, places can we continue to follow your musical journey um, along the way, music releases, um, appearances, all of that sort of thing. What are some of the places we continue to follow you? Well, the best place, of course, is Facebook. I have um, just my personal page, which everyone's welcome to, to follow, Brandy York. Um, there's also Brandy York Music. And you can also find Stephen and I as Southern Sunday on Facebook. Every appearance we have coming up, we do have a promo for that. Um, I have Brandy York Music on YouTube, and we're starting to put some songs together on there as well. Um, of course, the the single I just released is on all digital platforms, um, but really just Facebook is where we're constantly keeping everybody up to date on things, our schedule and, and things like that. So so Facebook, there's a little bit of traffic on Instagram. I'm, I'm a little old, so it's hard for me to get used to using a lot of social media. <laughs> But I'm pushing 40. I don't know about that Instagram. But I, Facebook. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means for me. I'm a few years older than you, so I don't know what that means for me exactly. Perhaps I need a MySpace page again. <laughs> oh, man. She went there. She went there to the MySpace. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, that does uh, show where we were when social media first became a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right agree. It's like, yeah, MySpace does need to come back. <laughs> See, I, I, there's so many of them nowadays. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping up with the show on like Facebook, the YouTube, and we just started streaming on Twitch now. And I'm, I'm having trouble trying to keep up with just those, let alone how many those ones are. Now. Like, just being trying to keep up with them all. Just Thanks. like, Everyone needs their own social media brand manager. Just <laughs> either that or have a lot of time on their hands. I don't know, but man, this is crazy. Um, let's pray for Brandy before we head on to uh, Chase, who is waiting in the wings, standing by uh, to bless us with his music. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for Brandy. We just thank you that uh, both individually and collectively as the duo, um, we just ask that you will just continue to bless their music continue to bless them and provide for them and their families personally and professionally as they go out um, doing your will and putting your music out there to bless your people, Lord. Lord, we just thank you that you will continue to inspire her with the music, the lyrics, the melodies, the sound um, that needs to pour forth to be able to bless whosoever ears needs to hear it. Lord, we just thank, that, thank you that the music is going out those who have ears, let them hear. We just thank you that the music is going out and reaching whoever it is that it's called to reach and blessing whoever it is that's called to reach tonight. And just like you have brought Brandy through, um, what she went through several years ago, we know and she has said that you have her here right now at this time in this place for a purpose. And we just thank you that you're using her giftings, her talents, her calling in music to, to further that purpose to impact and to reach hearts 
we just thank you for Brandy for shining her light brightly, brightly um, for all of us here tonight. We just thank you for Brandy joining us in this great time of worship tonight here in Red's Room. And we just thank you. We give this rest of this night to you. And we just thank you for everything you're doing for Brandy and through her and her duo's um, music and giftings. We just thank you for it all. And we ask that you continue to grow that um, abundantly. We just thank you in Jesus' mighty name for everything. Amen. Amen. Brandy, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an honor and a blessing having you here. Much continued success to you. Welcome to the Reds Room Ministry family. Great having you here, Brandy. Uh, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate you. Thank 